Hi y'all, my name is Tina. Welcome back to Reaction Row. Today I am watching the show Staged with Michael Sheen and David Tennant. When I started my Good Omens journey, I had so many of y'all mention and recommend this show to me. So I'm going to start it today. It's a gloomy day outside. I have a casual day today where I just ran some errands. And now I'm home and I'm staying home because it's raining. Um, so I figure what better day than today to watch Staged since they were quarantined at home during COVID when they were filming this. And I feel like I'm quarantined because there's a lot of rain. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start. I think I'm going to watch two episodes. I'll do one and two today. And I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, a lot of y'all recommended it to me and I really enjoyed Good Omens. I love the chemistry between Michael Sheen and David Tennant. And recently I saw some clips from, was it the BAFTAs? I think, and David Tennant was like hosting and there was this whole bit with Michael Sheen and a dog. And I just was like, okay, I need to watch Sage. So I'm gonna get started. Before I do that, I wanna thank y'all for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. And I'm gonna get started. The Welsh must have had a good phrase at the end of the world. What did you have to say that? You know, Dylan Thomas must have written about it, read a poem or something. Of course, he wrote, uh, Do not go gentle into that good night. Well, there you go. I did a bit for the BBC. Did you? Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Do you know what it is in the original Welsh? That's me. I thought it was translated. Translated? Yeah, do you know what you originally wrote? He originally wrote, do not go gentle into that good night. In English? Yes! That was disappointing. <laughs> ha -he -ho. Oh, what does that mean? Total fucking disaster. Kahi ho. Kahi ho. Kahi ho. Kahi ho. Kahi ho. No, now you're going scouts. Kahi. Oh, that's the title of this episode, I think. I was trying to pronounce it. I could definitely. When I read it. We would never let you. You'd love to have me. You'd beg to have me. We have been fighting the Scots on for centuries. We're not going to let you in now. <laughs> Where are you? Oxford. Is that the toilet paper off? Huh? No, I'm staying at my sister's. I thought you said you didn't get on. Well, that doesn't matter. She's not here. She's in the south of France. Look, can I moot an idea with you? There's a word you don't hear every day. What word? Moot. You also use semicolons in your emails. I've noted. Yes, well, I'm trying to cut back on that. Look, is there a version of this lockdown where we carry on with rehearsals? Rehearsal? Yeah, look, bear with me. Yeah, I'm not ready to give up on this yet. What if we spend two or three hours a day discussing the play? Then when the theatre's reopened, we've got something ready to go. Everyone else waits six weeks. We swan into town. The British public will need entertainment. I actually... David! Had to be Hi, at work. Son. Hi! Like this? Yeah, work. We do like this? Yeah. Is it work? So far, yeah. That George is here. She just... I had to keep going into the Hi. office Hi. the entire time, but... Hi. Yeah, lovely to meet you too. Sorry about the delay, it's a real shame. Thank you, yeah. It's a real fucking shame. Yeah, yeah it is. We've got to keep it out. Oh, how? With this. Like, like this. Have you, um... Have you spoken to Michael? Oh, so that's his in-real-life wife? Well... Spelling everything backwards in your own head. Yeah. Mm. No, I still think I could deal with it again. So, a distraction would be good for for you. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, give me a minute. What are you doing now? I worry that I'm in a Hitchcock film. What do you mean? The birds. birds. <laughs> I knew it. Are coming back to the Talbot. That's nice. And that large blue finch is the leader, it seems. You all right? Just adjusting, you all right? Yeah, not bad. Just adjusting. Started spelling words backwards in your head, yeah? I have a bit, yeah. Have you tried Innsbury Park? 
He knows him just as well as his wife. <laughs> it's crappy rub sniff. I almost had it. Very good. Yeah. And yours? Oh, wow. You did that? Yeah, just this morning. Just what, this God? morning? What? You did not paint that this morning. Yes, I did. You did not paint that this morning. I did. I don't believe you. You drew the pineapple. Well, my pineapple is shit. <laughs> oh, shut up, little charcoal. Where did you learn so much about art? I learned it for a role. Which role? David Frost. What did he paint? Are you angry with me for having a hobby? Well, evidently, yeah. Yeah, can I moot an idea with you? You don't use the word moot. I do. I've never heard you use <laughs> Well, I mean, I have, historically, I have used it. Simon uses that word. Does he? Oh, you know he does. Well, can I discuss an idea with you? Well, is it a David idea or a Simon idea? It is slightly both. Go on. Once the theatre's reopened, we're first out of the starting game. So Simon wants to rehearse a play over the internet. It'll be fun. It's a funny play. Is it? We'll make it funny. You're Simon speaks Italian. I speak Italian. We all speak Italian, everyone speaks Italian. <laughs> so, come on, what do you think? Everyone. You up for it? Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Did Michael show you his painting, David? He did, yeah, yeah. Isn't it stunning? I can scarcely believe it. Oh, David's, uh, David's been working on a little something himself. Oh, it's pineapple. Yeah, yeah he's focusing on still lights at the moment, aren't he? No, not really, no. Come on, show us I can't. I don't think any So his pineapple is exactly how I would draw. <laughs> We're discussing six characters in search of an author. Oh, yeah, I heard about the cancellation, David. That's such a shame. Oh, David's not ready to give up on the air. He has an idea to uh, cast it. And then rehearse it like this. Well, could that work? Well, I mean, in theory. I mean, you know. And then we're ahead of everyone else when all the theatres reopen. We get our pick of the West End houses. Oh. If the birds haven't taken over by then. Be very perky. Yeah, yeah. it is. Surprise, I, I expected Michael to be a bit more discombobulated. Why? Because I'm a bit more discombobulated. Hmm. Well, you're not the same person. Hello, boys. Good afternoon, all. It's great to see you. Good afternoon, all. Yeah, good afternoon. Good to see you, Simon. Should I start? You should start, Simon. Sorry, David, you go ahead. Oh, no, no, you should start. I was going to say. Oh, Simon. what a nightmare. David? Simon. I guess it's kind of good that I had to go into the office. Oh, well, this is hardly Shakespearean. Oh, okay, well, I'll start. Instead of dealing with this yeah. every day. Okay, uh, David, thanks for sorting this um, out. Michael, it's lovely to see you again. Um, I know that you've got some questions. Uh, but why don't I just try and summarise where we're at, and then we can take it from there. Sound all right? Fine by me. Okay, so I'm suggesting that we, um, we carry on casting this thing, and we rehearse it like this. Uh, it won't feel natural, but we could discuss the play and maybe even stage a little bit of it, and we might find that we've got something that people need when this whole thing passes. Why do you want to do this? Why did it get so close? Honestly? Honestly. Oh, he froze! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I would think he was going to say, because I'm broke, do you think? I don't know what he was going to say. I think he was about to talk about your hammer. <laughs> Way to stroke his ego. I walked out into the middle of the field next to us. Ah, uh, they I added their street. middle names to the opening. I don't oh, think the first one had their middle names. I wanted to see if anyone heard. That's funny. Did they? Well, no one came to my aid. Mm. Mm. 
Do they scream a lot down there? We do. Well, it's how we say a lot. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, you you sounded like a bird. It's like a rite of passage. You go on, you go on a blasted heath, and you strip down to your tartan undercrackers, and you. Did you say tartan undercrackers yeah, or undercrappers? Very open. Very open <laughs> A meaty tomber. I'm hearing Tarzan with you. That's more Tarzan. You know, the haggis doesn't come unless you get it right. We trained for this for years. Listen, if the haggis doesn't come, no one's going to be happy. Simon's taking it no, so serious. Exactly. That's the and these two are just... tourism <laughs> campaign right there. Nicholas Sturgeon can often be seen on the top Casual. of the Casual. Making a haggis come. Could we start? What did you both hear that too? Maybe we should start. Of course, this I mean. whole thing is bizarre enough without additional sound effects. Please, could we start? <laughs> yeah. Fine. Well, uh, welcome to rehearsals. I know that this is an unusual first day. I don't have any of the usual bits and bobs. There's no creative team to introduce you to, and I don't have a model box to show you. But you've got the scripts, yeah. Yeah. I've got one of these, so. Um, <laughs> I thought maybe we could just read the scene through, first scene, and then ask some questions, take it from there. Yeah, fine by me. <clears throat> um, and I thought because we obviously don't know each other very well, maybe we could just start with a little something to break the ice. So, who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Michael stole the cookie from the cookie jar. What is that? What's happening? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm sorry, it was like someone else an exercise. I, I'm nervous. I'm not a fucking Sylvia Young. What are you doing? I think I just the Michael Singh thing. Just be normal for fuck's sake. He's a pussy cat, but you've got it. You can't. Oh, that shit. That's definitely coming from one of you. <laughs> not mine. It's not mine either. <laughs> it's Simon. Simon, phone. Joe. Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm Simon's sister. David, hi. Michael. Hi. You live with Simon then? No, he actually lives with me. This is my place. Ah, well, it's very lovely what we've seen of it. Thank you. I'm a big fan. Oh, that's very kind of you. Yeah, I saw the pillow man. Oh. Oh, thank you. That was a very long time ago now. It never left me. You need to say something nice about Michael now, where he gets jealous. That's actually true. Well, I saw your Hamlet. Twice. Twice? Yeah, <laughs> uh, you seemed so heartbreakingly conscious of human potential. Well, that's what I was going for. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, maybe. Lucy's not the first person to notice my heartbreaking consciousness of human potential. Really? Name one other human being who used that exact collection of words to describe you. Tim Burton. Tim Burton. Um, I better get back to work. So. Is Simon ever coming back at all, or is he? Oh, we've earned a break. We've but earned... It was lovely to meet you both. You too. <laughs> we've yes. earned a break. They haven't done a thing. Oh, Lucy, have you seen much of Simon's work? No. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> lovely. Hmm. Big fan of yours. Yes, and your pillow man has never left her. Like some sort of 18th century STD. Well, she had to come and see you twice. Yeah, she couldn't believe it the first time. Couldn't believe it the first time. <laughs> thought, that can't be what's passing for Hamlet these days, she thought. I'd better go back and check. Not only did it not leave her, she had to come back. Yeah. She didn't want to leave it. What was it that Tim Burton said? Uh, word for word, he said, Michael, yeah, I yeah. loved... How heartbreaking your consciousness uh -huh. of human potential oh, is man. That's in that. That's very that good. That's how he talks. I'm known for doing real people. And that's yeah, exactly you should do that like next. <laughs> that would be great. I, I thought it was that. exactly like him. You've no. never actually met Tim Burton, have you? No. 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 He's I mean, just seen his been, hair. <laughs> but he wasn't there. No. He didn't actually address you at any point. No, he was too busy trying to get rid of the stink of your pillow man, oh, which had never was. left him. Yeah, yeah. Didn't leave a stench. A Judy stench. 
Don't bring Judy into this. She loves my pillow man. I bet she Judy does. cannot keep her hands off my pillow man. When's Simon coming back? I think we're done for today. It's a pleasure working with you, Michael. <laughs> you too, David. They have yet to do anything. She'll jump in the day. Yeah, I really look forward to doing something. Maybe I'll cook. Do you look after the kids? I'll cook, maybe. Judy, I really need to finish that final girl. I'll cook as well. Okay. I'll just warm up the lasagna. She cooked the lasagna. I'll garnish it with some white chocolate shavings. I promised I would cook. You have nothing. Of culinary value. I have two carrots. Then cook the carrots! You're no help. What's this made of? George's novel. Mmm. Yeah. Yes, of course. I've been look, I've been looking after the kids like all day, practically, so that she's got time to edit the last chapter. And I thought, wouldn't it be lovely if there was a lovely meal prepared for her at the end of it? Oh, that's very nice. Is that you on that mug? No. Homeschooling's been slowing her down, so. Ah, well, yes. I mean, I'd jack it in if I would teach him a craft instead. Get him up a chimney. Mm. Pickpocketing. <laughs> you can send them out across London and back they come, their little withered arms are full of plunder. I bring home some neckerchiefs and wristwatches. I sold my legs, father. Can I have a little morsel? It's not a bad idea. Just planting seeds. It is in some version of social distancing laws. Oh, well, I assumed if you're okay with your kids robbing total strangers. Is this improvised or did they I write this? I really I wonder. Maybe it's a mix of both. You'd be a good Nancy. Thank you. No, I've never seen it before now, but just looking at you, if I met you now for the first time I didn't know you, I think he's up to no good. Hmm. Would you rather we didn't recycle? Ah, did you know that George is writing a novel? She's finishing it. Oh, what's it about? Spanish Queen and Columbus? I know that Columbus. Isabella de Castile? Isabella de Castile. Maybe, yeah. Wonderful. Mm. I haven't got the patience to write. And it is everything. I'd like to try it. Oh, you should put me in it. Nah, I'm very proud of Georgia. Have you told her that? Cooking her dinner. Mm. Mm. Something with carrots. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm on, boy. Oh, you need to go? Ah, looks like it. Oh, no, Georgia's there. Leave me to it. <laughs> on the phone. I think it's on the phone. Next thing to that. Yeah, we can hear. Yeah. 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 And just screamed because he took Michael's advice. Oh. Too. Why does he keep listening to Michael? The thing you have to remember is that these guys are a big deal. Yes, they are. And I'm not. Mm. You keep acting like this. No, the thing you have to remember is that I can't give this any more of my fucking time. Oh, 
It's not good enough, Simon. I know. You spend no small amount of effort persuading us to do this, then you disappear for a day and the night. I know. I, I've just been trying to deal with a, a small problem. What problem? And, and, I, and, I, and I wanted to wait and come back to you when it was all resolved. And has it been resolved? Not yet. What is it? And if your face freezes like a bunch of quiche again, I'm done. Do not answer <laughs> that door, Simon. It's not my door. It's not mine. I am getting very tired of this. Michael! Door! <laughs> David, I'm sorry. I'm, I will explain everything to you and Michael as soon as he's back. You just need to focus a bit more. The whole, the whole thing so far has just been about... Ah, yeah. I know. It, for the other actor, it's him from before. He's been calling in again and again. He, Wait, he wants does to get it... involved. I've got to go. Doesn't okay. Crowley do a mad or something like that? Back. In one episode? Is it a nod to this? That'd be funny if it is. By David McDonald. A, a play? By David McDonald? Yes. I already think. I like it very much. Yeah. And it's got uh, it's got history. It's got uh, it's got nobility. Yeah, I, I might rebrand completely. Acting too? Well, maybe. That's very bold. Is it too bold? Well, that's tiny. They're so fun! David McDonald. Starring David McDonald. That voice. Of course, you know what that means. I feel like the next episode. No! <laughs> is going to say David McDonald. Oh, and it's because his name would come first. <laughs> Just during the lockdown. And That's too I funny. Drinking a little that is too funny. Oh my gosh, I really, really enjoyed those episodes. Um, <laughs> I'm so glad that y'all recommended it to me. Um, it's very... Like I said, it reminds me of Arrested Development, like the humor and the way it's filmed. And I don't know if it's improv or if it's written, like I said, but it's probably a mixture of the two. But they just, man, it's just like a ping pong back and forth. And I love it so much. And then their wife, the wife, um, Georgia and Anna, I don't know if that's uh, Michael's wife or girlfriend or fiance or anything like that, but... She just knows everything, and George is, like, so done with Michael. <laughs> I'm sorry, with David. And Simon, poor Simon, like, he's so cute. <laughs> he's so insecure, and I hope they actually get to start rehearsing <laughs> to see his his background or, like, see what he can do. Um, but that's just too funny. And then all of like the the toilet paper missing. And so it just takes you back to 2020, which is so crazy that it was four years ago. Like insane to me um, because it doesn't feel like it. it still feels like we're still in 2020. <laughs> Past four years just feel like one. But I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to watch more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end there. I do have full unedited reactions on my Patreon if y'all are interested. Uh, you can subscribe there. The link is in my description box. I hope y'all have an amazing day. Bye.